All right, let me speak on this shit, bro. I am so sick and tired of some of you fucking Niner fans, bro. What is wrong with voicing an opinion? What's wrong with fucking being critical about Brock Purdy? And, and, and stop with this fucking nonsense of me and this Grant bullshit, bro. I don't fuck with this guy. So get that shit out your fucking mouth. Let me get this straight, bro. So I need so I need to be sold into this quarterback just because he's our starter. You know what? He's our guy. Whether we like it or not, he is our guy. I've said it from, from the get-go. He is our guy. Because that's how we have to accept it. But do I need to do I need to hype this guy and say he's the greatest thing since the fucking slice of bread? I'm not gonna say that. He's played through 10 games. Relax. So far, so good. But you guys are acting like we had to be fucking forced into it, bro. Stop. That's not what makes you a real fan. A real fan has to be sold, bro. Doesn't doesn't mean nothing, bro. Players and coaches come and go. Fans remain loyal. You ever heard of that motto? Not all fans are going to buy into Brock Purdy immediately, bro. We have to see more. I'm not the only Niners fan that feels the same way. The problem is, bro, is when we voice an opinion, you guys are a fucking two-sided faces, bro. I don't care what y'all motherfuckers think of me. I am as realistic and passionate about my fucking team than some of y'all will ever be, bro. So I can see what I see. Brock Purdy's looking good in 10 games. That's all we can talk about. It's 10 games. Can I see a full season? Can I see a full season of Brock Purdy? Can I at least see a full season of Brock Purdy before I come into conclusion? Can I get that? Can I see Brock Purdy go on top and win a Super Bowl? Can I get that for once? We'll see. I believe he could. But the problem is, it's just being critical these days, bro. I don't get the, the the part of what's wrong with being critical. It, it's what makes us real fans. It, 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 you don't want to sugarcoat. You don't want to be a cookie cutter. You want to be a realistic fan where you see it as it is and not be into this fucking delusional homer shit, bro. Some of you guys are fucking brainwashed by this shit. So, dude, we support the team, but we had to be critical on certain players, too. Do you really feel that it's necessary to fucking call out a fan when they have a fucking right to an opinion? Doesn't mean you have to agree with me. But I feel like some of you guys are just buying into this shit too soon, bro. If I'm drinking that shit, it looks sour to me. Maybe it'll get sweeter. Maybe the Kool-Aid will get sweeter once Brock Purdy starts to play more games and shows he is the real deal. And I think we'll get a lot of that sample size by the end of the season. I think by the end of the season, you'll get a conclusion through these these games he's played, bro. He's going to play a lot of games. And then you're going to have an, a good evaluation of, of what he can be. But I feel like there's a lot of his game that he needs to improve on. He needs to improve on the deep balls. That's been the issue, the deep balls. But I feel like other than that, he operates the offense. He is a leader. He may not be the biggest quarterback, but he plays with he plays with heart out there. I gotta give him that. He played at Iowa State. Nobody's ever taken that program seriously, but he won 30 games. And he's won the most in school history. They haven't been shit since he left Iowa State. So I I'm trying to be positive about this, but I have to see more out of this guy. Dude, 10 games is 10 games. That's not enough. That's very, that's like over almost half, that's over half a season if I'm being honest. I still need to see a little bit more. Once I get the 17 game samples of what he is or going towards the end of the season, I'm going to grade Brock Purdy. But as of right now, He's winning games. That's a huge plus. So when you're winning games, that's definitely a plus in my book because that's all we care about is winning games. His deep ball still needs work. I'll give it a C because the deep ball has to get better if we want to make our offense better. 
uh, the the accuracy, that's a huge plus. I'll give it an A because his accuracy is good enough to get the ball in these short passes. When it comes to these other passes, he is very accurate. When it comes to leadership, that's a huge difference, bro. A big A+. Plus because you need a guy like him to stand up in the huddle and let the players know. But when you look at the way he plays and the way he does, bro, he presents himself really good. So I'm not saying nothing bad about him, but being critical is part of being a real fan. So I don't get your point, bro. I'm not everybody's cup of tea, and I don't ever plan on changing my opinion. I'm giving Brock Purdy a lot of praise more than the critical, bro. So don't act like I'm fucking being fake. So when people ask me a question, am I going to fucking lie? No, I don't fucking lie. So when somebody asks me, do I feel confident about Brock Purdy? I am not sure about Brock Purdy. But you want to question fanhood, bro? No, I want to see more Brock Purdy before I even come into that confidence, bro. The guy was a seven-round draft pick. What can he be throughout his career? You know, we've seen a lot of quarterbacks. And, and you want to say this guy's the next Tom Brady. Pump the brakes. Let's see. I want to see. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a great story. It's going to be great on Walt Disney. But, man, pump the brakes a little bit, man. I'm All I'm asking, bro, is let's just pump the brakes a little bit. Let's take it one game at a time. Let's take the full season with Brock Purdy. If he can actually start proving that he's not like one of those guys, then I'm, I'm good with him. But y'all got to pump the brakes.